We don't want to be distinguished. Like on the surface, our expression is how we want to relate to people, right? Like we were just talking about. So we want to be, I mean, if I want to be, and then there's, then there's people who, uh, I'm kind of, I don't know, do you get an idea of which gender expression I'm doing? I was, I was thinking mine was pretty, pretty, pretty straightforward. I, that's the wrong words to use in this one. But that was, I thought it was pretty obvious, but some people still, they'll hear my voice, right, on the phone and they'll mistake me. But, you know, I thought I was doing a pretty good gender expression on the woman side of the equation. But for some people, it's not always so clear, right? Sometimes you think, I'm a woman on the phone. <laughs> yeah. Well, lucky you. <laughs> no, but let's see, for, for most people, who are, and we call them cisgendered, I'm not, or who are trans, that's not a big deal, right? Ah, I'm not really. But for someone like me, who's transitioned and experienced a lot of hardship, I find that really annoying, because it happens a lot. And I've been denied service. Oh, they won't serve me because I don't sound like who I am, right, on my ID. And sometimes you need to get passwords for credit cards and that. So I get upset about that because it's happened so many times. And but I kind of got to keep my cool because if I get upset, they'll just refuse to do service business with me. But it, it's, it's because it's hurtful because it's happened a lot, right? Well, it boils down to acceptance. Yeah. I mean, if, you know, I think there might, it looks like there's an event upstairs. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah the um, society in general. Uh, the vulnerability that you can face of somebody who is gender, gender uh, mix or fluid is, it can be very similar because at the end of the day, what we, what we really question here is gender. So for example, I mean, if um, we were agreed that, that uh, like Susan said, we live in a heteronormal, normative society, heteronormative society, which basically what it is, uh, implies that only men and women who, who being recognized at birth are the only valid forms. Right. So any other form uh, will be considered a, a rare or a typical. No, so 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 as as one, you know, the whole trans movement tried to really identify the needs by actually seeing that there is something in common between within all of us, which is gender, mm -hmm. which is the expression of gender, being being uh, whether we are male or female or, or we're considered a mix or, 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 or bi, whatever, we all have the issue of gender. So, so in such a regard, all of us can be vulnerable because of our gender expression inside the social spectrum. Mm -hmm. And that's why the movement has become more inclusive, not only to be able to protect you uh, in, in your specific conditions about what you're going through, but also for the people who feel that they are binary or they are non-binary. So, so at the end of the day, what I'm saying is that it's very difficult to keep a classification for everybody because we won't really finish. I mean, we will be so many classifications that it won't be a way to actually put us. So, so in a way, we're trying to really understand that, uh, that as a community, we need the need to, we have a need to be protected, and we have a need to be respected, to be dignified, whatever expression we have. Uh, that's why you're your own group? No. Yes, yeah, so this is like, you know, I mean, I've met a lot of people who feel the same way, and even I have at times, so, but it's a really good question, right? Like, because I think our flag has changed. That's the deal. The very first time our flag was going to be flown, mm -hmm. ever. I was there, and it was they really cold. put up this flag that I don't even know what it was. So, that changed my, my view of everything altogether. The one thing about the trans community, well, I mean, it was one person or a couple people's view, right? So we're so diverse. So I mean, yes, I mean, and I think things are changing. So what we do know about these terms and language is that it's always changing, right? Ways we understand things like, our, we did, when I was younger, television was new. We didn't have mobile phones. Like the first mobile phone was the size of a shoebox, right? <laughs> um, so, so things change and language changes. It's all like in the context of they don't. Some places, um, some places don't even like use words like gay and lesbian. It's like men having sex with men, 
um, and whatever that means. But there's different, like some countries, and, and there's kind of a really European context. But we use it for political. I use trans as a political term, as a chance to like distinguish from like gay or queer. But um, but I think you know language is always changing. So I mean, it's uh, you want it's. Um, and we're so diverse, so kind of what I wonder about that, the hardest thing for me was uh, gender binary, non-binary, and that just understanding, like, because I wasn't even, I couldn't even think about, like, how could you, like, living past, living to 30 was, like, just surviving, right? Mm -hmm. And no um, understanding or concept. And your people you know, have a whole different way of looking at it, so if that's helpful at all. This was the first genocide and the Jewish people, the Holocaust, and actually the International Covenants on Human Rights came out in 1948, so that would never happen again. But we're in structures, um, we're in structures that are unequal. There's a system, a system, a of them. There's you know white supremacy. There's um, um, pardon? There's sick people. Well, which part? <laughs> well, people learn things growing up, right? Yeah. I mean, I would which say is hard sick is yeah. not necessarily a good word to use because I find that if you say that, then you can invite people to call you sick, and I just don't want that. So, I mean, some people are ill, yeah, but like, I'll go to the doctor for <laughs> Mindfully ill. You know, yeah. Well, I think people learn things because of the system, right? The system, they're taught these things, and you have to unlearn and unpack them. Same thing around transsexual and transgender. So. But anyway, so...